What's up my fellow humans, it's your Skull here, and today is a new video uh, that I, I'm, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna show to you. And as you can read in the title, we're gonna try today American candy, American drinks. Uh, there is gonna be like a few parts of these kind of videos because I've ordered more stuff. Uh, but that is, well, it, it still needs to be delivered. Uh, but this is a box with already some stuff in it. I'm gonna try a few things, but I have like a couple of drinks in there, but I don't want to like drink everything in one day. Um, because I'm not that thirsty at the moment. <laughs> and it's just, I, I think it's lame to just like drink it and be like, okay, now bam, put it on the side and drink something else because that would be just a waste of money and food. And that's not what I want to do. So, um, today we're gonna try a few cookies, chips, dips, uh, crisps, crisps, I, I don't know how to, uh, say it, a few candy things, and of course something that I have been wanting not to drink, but okay, with all that being said, enjoy! Okay, so as I said at the beginning, I'm gonna be trying a few things, and it's all in this box. So I'm just gonna pick something out differently without even watching. Uh, it's a can. I wait. I'm gonna pick maybe this one. So okay, this is actually the thing I'm afraid of the most of drinking. It's called A and W Cream Soda Naturally and artificially flavored made I don't zoom in uh, pretty close because it's the camera thing but made with aged vanilla so oh boy I can feel the diabetes sniffing up in my nose I like Oh yes, here it is, here it is, you're dead. Okay, uh, here goes nothing, so uh, cheers. To be honest, oh, oh no, ugh. At, at the beginning it tastes like marshmallows, like the typical marshmallow flavor, that was what I just drank. But at the end, there's something... Ugh, no, at the end there's like this kind of flavor that makes it all bitter all suddenly. Like, it, it drops something, like it's sugary and all that stuff, and then it's like... Ugh. So, if I... Wait, I'm gonna... Maybe, maybe this is a cool thing. I'm gonna rate these things uh, with points from 1 to 10. I'm gonna give this a 1. Definitely, it's disgusting. Uh, so we're gonna go on to the next food. Okay, so let's hope that that was actually one of the only really disgusting things. That's why I just cut that little bit out, because I really needed to drink something else. That shit was not good. I can't imagine that people must like it though, but it's not meant for me. <laughs> okay, so next thing is... I have this goldfish. Uh, goldfish baked snack crackers, uh, and it has pizza flavor. Uh, here in Belgium, we do not have a lot of pizza flavor things, so I'm just gonna open it and see what it tastes like. Also, a big fact about myself here is I'm not a big eater. Well, no shit, actually, I'm, I'm pretty skinny. Uh, so yeah, I never do eat a lot. Uh, okay, so I managed to open it. Hmm, just smells like... Oh, man, well, Americans, what is wrong with you? Is it just a package, or does it just smell like cat food? Is it for cats? To be honest, like, fish cookies. And then it must be like a cat food. I would be tricked. Uh, well, it doesn't say it's for a cat. It's 
So, okay. Baked with 100% cheese. Okay, so let's try one. Oh, it's sticky as well. This is the actual thing where I'm gonna show it to you. Is this what it looks like? Hmm. It's pretty dry, but it's actually really good. It tastes like the cracky chips um, with the ring, the ring uh, cracky chips or, or crisps. Uh, it's that is actually what it tastes like, and those are one of my favorite chips or crisps. So I would give it a eight out of ten. Okay, so let's see what we have next. Um, so I have a box of Twinkies. This is a thing that I've already tried before, but this time I've picked them with chocolate, although I'm not a chocolate fan. Um, but well, just gonna open the box with care and, uh, and preparedness. I know how this tastes. I know it's not the best, but you know, when people uh, watched the Zombieland movie and there was like this guy, uh, I, I don't know his name, uh, but he really wanted to taste Twinkies or have a Twinkie, uh, I broke the box. Um, so he was looking everywhere for a Twinkie and at the end he found one and was like, oh yeah, it's so good. So everybody was like, mmm, Twinkies. So this is a Twinkie with the chocolate. Uh, yeah, let's try this one as well. Uh, to be honest, it looks dirty. Though. It's like you've been laying in the sun for an hour, but man, who am I? It's just. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay. I must say that actually it tastes better than the regular ones. Um, like I said, I'm not a chocolate person, so it's not the best. I would give this like a six out of 10, um, but I don't know, it's, it's better. Tastes good, tastes all right, um, not the worst. So uh, yeah, pretty good. Twin case with chocolate. Okay, next item out of the box. By the way, a quick reminder for you all. Well, I bet you're older because this channel is for 13 years or older, but I bet you know this. It's just a quick, important message here. If you eat this much candy, make sure to clean your teeth because it's important to keep them clean. And a quick side note about a Twinkie. I think if you eat like three of those after each other, you had enough sugar for a day because that thing was really sweet, really. Okay, so next thing. Uh, I've been curious about actually about these because I've never tried them, and it's called Mike and Ice. Um, so it's like a berry blast chewy flavored candy. So we need to like chew on it. Um, so yeah, let's let's try this one as well. Opening every box here, it's like the most amazing thing ever. Oh, you're just, you're just loose in here, like it's not packaged or anything, it's just like loose candy, okay? I'm gonna try this, look, it smells okay. Ooh! I was not expecting, I thought it was hard. Sorry, it won't, it won't speak with my mouth, with food in my mouth, but Hmm. Sorry for that long thing. Uh, it was really hard to swallow, but I hate talking with my uh, mouth full. Um, but there's, it was really sticky. I thought it was going to be a hard candy. 
So it, it was actually soft and the taste is quite nice. It's not too sugary and it has really a nice flavor. When you like just the when you just like on it, it can actually be as nice. It's just the flavor. I think each and and every one of these will have like a different flavor. Obviously, you have like wild blue uh, and a tip for that one. Okay, next thing uh, that we're gonna be trying, which will almost be the last one. I said this is gonna be a few parts. I think there will be four or five parts of these videos. So. Mm. Uh, Okay, so it's gonna be a candy again. And it's gonna be Twi Twizzlers. Uh, no idea what it is. Never tried it, so I'm gonna see what it tastes like. Oh, I just opened the package. I'm terrible. Whoa, the smell is amazing. The strong smell coming out of it. It's like, well, it smells like toxic, <laughs> to be honest. It, it smells really like toxic. I'm scared to try this. I might die here. Guys, if I die, uh, because of this. But yeah, it, it, the, when you open a package of flavored gums, like boom, it comes out. It really comes out. Uh, okay, so my favorite, like my favorite color is green. So I'm gonna uh, try to take it out. Okay. It's really sticky. Oh well, there you get it's good. Mmm. No. No. This, <laughs> this is super sticky, but when you put it in your mouth, it's bitter. Maybe it's supposed to be sweet, and uh, like the the flavor you smell is what it tastes like. It's not the best. Um, yeah, it's really sticky. Yeah, so it's it's sticky. It it's kind of weird. Uh, it's a weird flavor. Uh, it's not, it's not going to be my favorite candy, I'm going to put it on the side. Uh, I would give this one a 5, maybe. It's like, meh, meh. Uh, I mean, you can like it, but you also can taste that it actually hasn't a lot of sugar in it. So, it's not that nice. Okay, and uh, now we're going to go to our last item, uh, which is going to be another drink. Dr. Pepper. Uh, so in Belgium, we don't have these. So I've uh, heard a lot of peeps that they like this. So it's uh, Dr. Pepper. It's just like a limited edition thing uh, because it's from Spider-Man Far From Home. And uh, it's dark berry, naturally and artificially flavored. Now, uh, at the beginning, we had a drink and I needed to pause the video really to get water uh, so I'm gonna prepare myself here and I'm scared of what this is gonna taste like uh, so let's open this this smells really weird like, I can't give this flavor a name, because like in the previous drink that we had, it, you, you could say like, okay, it smells like marshmallows, but this. Wait, wait, oh wait. It smells like cherry. Now that I, I don't eat cherries that much, that's why maybe I, I didn't recognize the flavor at first, but it smells a little bit like cherry. Um, I'm scared, but okay, cheers. Okay, would probably die if I fully drank this. It's not bad. Uh, I mean, a lot of people, I can understand why a lot of people like it. But the flavor, it has actually not that much of a flavor. It's like a really soft drink. 
um, with a small flavor in it, but it has a lot of, uh, how do I say it? Like you can burp a lot from it, I guess. But it's not my favorite kind of drink. Uh, I would not prefer it. Like my favorite drink uh, still of all time is Sprite, which is maybe weird for you all, but uh, that was or used to be my one at a time drink. Um, but yeah, I would give this also a six by the way. It's not the worst, not the best, but uh, you will get diabetes and sickness from it, probably. Like, I never, to be honest, when I eat candy here in Belgium, they're not that sugar, they're not that sugary. Like, a soda tastes super normal, like less sugar. And here, this one is like super sugary and, <coughs> Excuse me. Super sweet. And in Belgium, we do not have that a lot. Like, you have super sweet drinks, but they taste differently. They really do. Uh, so, yeah, we had a few candies here out today, guys. Uh, next week, there, are gonna be, there is going to be a part two of this. Uh, where we're going to be trying more stuff. And we're going to give, like, again, our opinion about it. So uh, I just want to say thank you for watching and I might see you in the next stream or video. So uh, yeah, take care and bye bye.